Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data BI SQL. So in today's video, right, uh, we'll continue with the part 24 of Amazon SQL interview questions uh, series. Uh, so I have made around 23 videos uh, before this video, uh, and it is all available in same playlist, which I'll put uh, 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 put the link for that particular uh, playlist in the in uh, in the description uh, of this video. So uh, I highly recommend you guys to look at all those 23 videos uh, if you have already not looked at it uh, and if you have been following my channel uh, you know uh, you, you can see that I have made like you know 23 videos covering different concepts from basic to uh, beginner to uh, intermediate to advanced level uh, SQL interview questions uh, so uh, today's video right it's pretty important because it covers many complex uh, questions actually Right, I mean, uh, it covers one complex question, but it covers the concept, uh, uh, you know, that that's basically we can say it's a little complex, right? I mean, uh, it's not a it's not a beginner to intermediate uh, kind of a kind of a query. It kind of comes in a little bit of uh, intermediate to advanced to complex query uh, because we are using so many so many uh, concepts of SQL in this query, as you will see in this video. Um, so uh, before we get started, right, I mean, uh, I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if my content has been helpful to you guys. OK, uh, so in today's video, we will cover uh, the concept of, uh, you know, extracting year from the date. We'll cover the concept of common table expression, also called CTE, uh, right, and, and comparing the revenue growth, right, between uh, between the categories. So it covers the concept of CDE, which is basically uh, a kind of, it's not a beginner concept, it's basically intermediate to advanced concept. Uh, and, and this kind of questions can come up in the, uh, you know, for the little bit of senior roles, like senior data engineer, senior solutions architect, senior BI engineer, you know, uh, uh, because it's, it covers an advanced level concept, right? So that's why it can, it can come up in the first round. Uh, uh, of Amazon SQL interview questions for these roles, for the data engineers and uh, for the BI engineers, right? Little bit of, uh, 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 you know, little bit of uh, uh, junior role. I would not say junior role. Uh, it's not a junior role, but uh, uh, you know, not like a senior BI or senior data engineer roles. Uh, you, you will see that this kind of com uh, questions can come up in a second round, right? I mean, because in first round they will cover basic concept and then they can move higher. So let's get started with today's uh, today's um, query. So I'll use the same table, uh, the taxi underscore rides that I have used in last four or five videos. So this is a simple table, right? So basically it has a category that is business or personal, and then you have meeting, customer visit, you have personal, you have meet friends, movie, etc. Right? I mean the category, the purpose of it, the miles driven for each of the purpose, and then charge, which is basically the, the amount paid for that particular trip and the expense date. So the question that they are asking here is right that display the YOY revenue growth for each of the categories for year 2021 to 2022. So what, what they are saying is year over revenue growth, right, for each of the categories for the year 21 and 22, right? So what they are saying is basically for each of this category that is so, so here there are only two categories, right? So that's that makes it simple business and personal. Uh, for each of the categories, show me the revenue growth, right? So how much the revenue has grown from 21 to 22? So you can see that the dates that are there is 21 and 22 in the table. And then so uh, uh, so the obviously any company, right? I mean, how they measure their, their progressing values through their revenue growth, right? So here, if you see, this is like a taxi ride table, right? So basically, you can consider like Uber or Ola or uh, uh, Lyft or you know any other taxi riding, right? They want to see how how much uh, they are bringing in revenue and are they doing a revenue growth, right? So this is a pretty valid valid business questions actually, right? How much our revenue are growing? So here, uh, uh, like I always mention, uh, try and break the query, right? So they are asking for a revenue growth, right? So basically, you need to think in terms of percentage, right? How much the the uh, you know the revenues have grown from your your? Do you see the revenue in this uh, table? Uh, we don't see the revenue column, but we see a charge the column, right? So you can verify with the with the interviewer that you know uh, the charge is the same as revenue, right? So basically, what they are saying is that so what we need to do is uh, we need to take yours into account, 21 and 22. We need to see the categories, which is personal and business, and then we need to see how much is the growth, 
right for each of the categories right uh, so basically if you were to uh, so categories is the main thing here right so categories basically that means group by you have to do category correct so only two categories right? business and personal so you need to sum up this charge right then only you will get total revenue for that category right so basically th things should come into your mind we need to show the revenue growth in percentage we need to group by category and then we need to sum up the charge to arrive at the total revenue for that year for that category right so here basically the group by is happening for on a year basis as well as on the category basis right because if you were to find out a growth for that particular year you need to categorize by that year correct and year is given here no so how will you uh, so is date, date any anywhere date is there yes expense date is there. so you need to extract the year from that right so uh, once you structure this in your mind right i mean uh, you know it makes it a little bit easy to uh, you know write the query right so here what you will what we will do is we need to first come out with the revenue for 2021 we need to come out with the revenue for 2022 uh, for each of the categories and then we need to uh, you know do see the growth correct we need to basically see how much the revenue have grown from 2021 to 2022 correct so what, for that we what we'll do is we'll create a with clause so this is called also clause called a with cte in sql so that is common table expression right so basically what you're doing is when you write a with clause and with this a table name it creates a temporary table okay it's not a permanent table so you'll not find that in a tables list it is it's basically going to clear the temporary table for that particular session itself so that you can later utilize this table to arrive at your final result right so what we'll do is with sales underscore 2021 as select distinct okay extract year from expense date right so like year is not here right so we need to so this is the formula in postgres okay every uh, every every uh, tool has a different formula so sql server has like year or directly year year and bracket the date and that will give you directly year so that's pretty straightforward and simple in sql server in postgres you need to write this extract year from the date you want to extract then remember we mentioned that year and category are, are the both need to be grouped by so we need to have year category sum of charge right because that's how you'll come out with the revenue okay and we are going to rename it as total revenue for 2021 so how do we come out with 2021 revenue we need to have it in a filter correct because otherwise if you don't put this 2021 filter it'll bring the date for 2022 also which we don't want right so 2021 then group by year and category so let's run this query okay so what it is doing it is saying business 158.5 is the revenue and then personal 78 dollars is the revenue okay total right for 2021 similarly now once this is done we need to put a comma and say sales 2022 as okay so we are creating another table right which will have 2022 so here if you see the, the entire query is same we just we are just naming this as a 2022 column and we are putting instead of a filter in 2021 we are putting 20 because we need the sales for the 2022 correct so let's run this query so if you see this 197 right so over there it was 158 correct and 197 and here is 142 for personal let's see in 2021 what was that it was 78 so almost it has doubled right 78 and 142 so almost like 80 percent revenue growth correct and here it is 158 and 197 so that's also kind of uh how much maybe 30 percent around 30 percent let's see right i mean 30 percent revenue growth right so basically uh that's what our answer should be right so how are we going to come out with that right so we have 2021 revenue growth, revenue total revenue we have 2022 total revenue now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, come out with a percentage correct so basically what we are going to do is we are going to say select 2022 dot category you can select anything 2021 dot category also you can say because category is going to remain same right then we are going to round it okay we round why because otherwise you know you will get a big decimal number so rounded uh, revenue growth so round is another function you need to you need to be aware so what it does is it's basically uh, you know the two decimal three decimal five decimal comes up right it just truncates and rounds it up to uh, 
uh, whole number. So for example, 196.5 will round it to 197, correct? So here what we are going to do is we are going to create a function called round and then we are going to do total revenue that is 2022 minus total revenue 2021 okay into 100 because we need to come out with percentage correct that's why we need to use this 100 okay divided by total revenue of 2021 so this formula basically gives you the growth in percentage okay then from sales 2021 table join 2022 what are we joining on we are going to join on the category right because category is very is common in both the both the tables correct so if you run this query separately it you will not allow you to run right because you are referencing the table so it's going to from sales because what happens is you need to run this table as a, as a part of entire session okay the moment you run this as separate it is not able to recognize why because it is not a table that is created permanently in the data warehouse or database right here if you see there is no table called sales and 2021 correct there is the the table is there only in that but for that particular session right so it basically creates a table for that particular session and if you want to query from that you need to use it in the same sessions what you need to do is you need to select the entire query okay now you see so business it was like 30 so it was 24 percent right 158 and 197 or something so that makes it you know 24 25 percent personal was like almost double like right like we saw 80 85 percent so 81 percent is the revenue growth for the personal category okay so here if you see we covered so many concepts right we covered the concept of cte with cte there is common table expression common table expression almost is asked in complex interview questions because that's one of the concept uh, right which is widely used right and very commonly used concept and uh, you need uh, some advanced skill right to write this kind of statements so that's why it can come up in the complex interview questions right so we used with cte right we use the extract function to extract the year you could ex if they ask for the month you could extract instead of year you can write month and that will extract month Right, if they ask for it, so here the extract is used, next we are used to extract this expense state. Then we use summation function to sum up all the revenues, right? And then what we did, we used group by, right? Uh, because we are using sum along with the uh, year and category, we are using group by. We use a filter condition to filter out the data, right? 2022, 2021. And then finally, we combine those two tables to come out with the revenue growth in the percentage. And then we, for that also we rounded the data right to the to the to the basically the, the rounded number. Okay, so we rounded the uh, we used the round function. So so many functions are used here. Common table expression is used here, right? So that's kind of an intermediate to advanced level interview question, I would say. Right. Okay. Uh, that's it for it today, guys. I hope uh, today's video was very useful to you. Uh, and if that's the case, please like my videos and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.